Hey planner friends, welcome to uh, another video. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I made a video and I'm really sorry. But this is um, a video that I feel has been long awaited. Um, I've been promising to do it and so I'm finally just doing it. And this video is going to be about my budget section in my planner. So if that's what you're interested in, stick around. All right, so um, in front of you, you're seeing two pocket planners. I am showing you uh, my budget section of last year, just to tell you kind of where, or let's say, just to show you where it's coming from. And I'll show you how I've um, basically copied what I did last year into my planner this year which is an A6 size. So uh, here are my old pages from January, but in this planner you'll see the actual budget section. So where is it? Uh, yeah, so, no, that's my weekly. <laughs> so, this was my budget section. Let me zoom in. Hopefully this is clear. So this was my budget section in my pocket planner. And my budget section um, consisted out of different sections within it. The first part of my, um, within my budget, budget section was a financial goals list and I had watched a video um, called financial goals in your 30s and I had written down uh, the things that the person had said which I found really interesting um, which I kind of want to incorporate and we can go through it pay yourself first and you can do that by automating your savings Divide, uh, diversify your income streams get over fear of investing, turn income into assets. Um, for me, that meant saving aggressively towards a home down payment, um, maintain and or build emergency fund and maintain or build sinking funds. Uh, build a career you love that makes you money and be debt free. And then create monthly money dates. And I'm happy to say that I have um, been successful in doing most of these things. Uh, if you want to copy these uh, goals for yourself, you're more than welcome. Here, you can pause to read it for yourself. And then here. And then the next thing I put in my uh, budget section are the seven baby steps from Dave Ramsey. I really liked um, his method, his way of going about things. And that has de uh, definitely helped me in my financial uh, freedom journey, should I say. So I've highlighted things that I have accomplished. And so I have I have an, a thousand emergency fund a thousand euros not thousand uh, dollars because I live in Europe um, pay off all debts but the house well I didn't really have any debts so um, <laughs> I don't have a house so that was easy and then uh, three to six months of expenses in emergency or savings and this took a, a bit to do and maybe I'll make a separate video about my financial journey and you know what I've done to get to where I am. I'm certainly not where I would like to be but um, I think I've learned some stuff along the way. And I'm at this stage right now 3B at saving up a down payment for a house. Um, there's some exciting stuff going on right now in my life where we're actually looking and I can't say that I'm totally there but um, I'm lucky not to be alone um, I'm looking with my partner with my life partner and 
yeah, we hope to to get a house and make those dreams come true. So yeah, there's still a ways to go. We don't have any children um, at the moment, so um, yeah, college funds isn't something that we're thinking about. Um, I would love to pay our house off early when we have, whenever we get it. And the seventh one, build wealth and give. Definitely trying to build wealth already. So yeah, that's the Dave Ramsey seven baby steps. I think it's important to, to put your goals, um, to write it down and, and read them often to keep you motivated. So I have that here. And then I have a year bill tracker. And in my year bill overview slash tracker, I use this basically to list down the bills that I have within the year and to track it, to track when, I, when I've paid it or if I've paid it and also to track in which month that it comes. So of course, rent is then every month of the year and stuff like this. But there are some um, bills like water, which I pay every three months. And then there's also um, like, uh, yeah, how do I translate this into English? And there's also taxes that I pay, you know, sporadically, should I say, in the, in the year. Or for example, my WordPress um, subscription is once a year. Although here I have it twice, but it's basically I paid it in the beginning or at the end of the year. And um, my car insurance is also something that was just once a year. We just we got a car um, in uh, last year, so I know like it's once a year, and um, it was in um, August. So I use this to also. S plan when uh plan my monthly uh expense tracker or my monthly budget to know which bills are coming up within that month and also I use this to see um to be able to to make my sinking funds uh, and to calculate my sinking funds and I know like okay I started um I started in 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 August and if I if I uh, start saving for this bill in August, I know like okay, I have to divide that amount by, you know, so and so amount of months in order to be able to pay that bill. I hope that made sense. Sorry, it was a bit rambly, but that's basically the purpose of this um, insert is to track my bills and to know when specific bills are coming that are not um, regular. Okay, then here you see an example of my June budget. And this is the layout that um, over the years I've come to to use. So my battery died in my camera. So um, I'm sorry if the lighting looks a bit different, but I had to take time to charge the battery, but I'm back. And we were at the budget part the monthly budget uh, inserts. So over the years, I kind of figured out the layout that uh, that worked best for me and for my goals and how I wanted to just arrange things. And so I I drew out this kind of table, should I say, and it begins with my income. And then because as you saw previously, one of the goals is to pay yourself first. I thought that I will have um, the section of savings and stuff first. Um, a few years ago, I had it the other way around because basically how I would budget was I would see what my income was, I would pay all my bills, and then hopefully if there was something left, I would, I would you know, try and save that. I still have the tendency to do that but I'm really trying not to. And so, you know, part of that um, is basically having this visual of, okay, here's my income, pay myself first with, you know, whatever savings uh, in my sinking funds, in my uh, pension fund or my emergency fund, all that. 
and then after that see what um, bills I have to pay and so yeah I just have the column here of what 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 is I have what I expect what actually comes in and the difference and I have found that um, if I do that sorry let me just make this a bit lighter and I found that um, by tracking this I can see which months are um, I do better and not and I'm happy to say that you know with this month at least um, I I did a bit better for example with household um, household is basically just groceries but within that it's not just food but like dishwashing liquid and stuff like this you know cleaning materials so um, you know in the past sometimes I would budget and I would go a bit in the negative to, to one budget um, and others not and so that that helped me seeing the difference helped me to set realistic budgets and adjust so that my budgets were, were more realistic um, and so yeah I, I definitely try to um, use the budget to zero method so you know at, at the end when I just you know make my my budget and calculate everything I want every cent uh, to be accounted for so that's the monthly part well at least the budget section and then I also track my expenses and the expenses that I track at least in the beginning it used to be everything but then at some point I thought well it was a bit redundant to to say you know when I paid my rent or whatever because that I can just quickly check on my um, in my bank uh, app but um, I think the the part that I wanted to track more was the variable costs so stuff like transport and um, and household basically where you know some months I think we, we spent more than others so the tracking expense ended up being more about household tracking and and other like miscellaneous expenses or personal expenses so that that's that and I used to color code I don't do that anymore um, because most of my expenses were just you know groceries but I'm thinking of, of returning to do that because yeah things happen and expenses come up and it's good to just have an overview like if I had to go to the doctors and then I, I can color that in so that's that and then after the tracking I have a list just a list of monthly expenses for that year um, I list it out as fixed and variable just to have an overview of, of my of my bills my recurring bills um, and see if there's something that I can I can stop or or what changes from one year to the other because for example on this year um, this was the price per um, quarter but now this year um, it raised and this is also already raised from last year so I, I like to just kind of keep track in that way have this sheet, sheet of paper and I can track okay which expenses are staying the same which expenses are increasing uh, per year and by how much per year so that I can also kind of you know plan for the next year what my budget should be like or whatever can yeah that kind of thing or also see where I can cut expenses to account for um, possible <laughs> raising rates of other things so now for example this year I cancelled Netflix because yeah I thought I can save uh, 11 euros and it might help me somewhere else maybe with my water bill and um, then there's a list of my sinking funds so as I said I have this insert here where 
throughout the year, if something new comes up, for example, you know, we bought our car in the summer. So I started the year only having, you know, like up to here or whatever, a list. And then with uh, with the new expense, I added it onto the list. And so I look at this list and see, okay, which are the expenses that come um, not every month, but every three months or once a year. And those those bills, I look at how much I paid, and then I make my sinking funds list. And with, uh, with that amount, I divide it by how many months it will take for me to then have to pay it again, uh, or should I say until the next bill. And I uh, make... I make that calculation and I basically try to see, to save that amount every month. So um, also the sinking funds goes not only for um, for my expenses, but also goals. For example, um, my plane ticket to go see my family, or this is now actually just like a holiday fund. Um, I want to you know, make sure that I always have some, some cash if I need to buy a ticket to fly home. Um, that certainly happened uh, some time ago with a family emergency. So it's nice to know that if anything happens, I do have the cash lying around to buy a ticket. And um, yeah, so that's basically what I do. I look at the how much the bill was or the amount that I want to have, and then I divide it by however long it uh, it will be before that bill comes, um, or just a perpetual thing that I just add to, and I get the amount per month that I need to save, and I add all of that up, and I have a separate account just for my sinking funds, so I I keep. Yeah, so it's just one huge lump. Um, but what I do to keep track of um, of what's going in and out and from which from which um, sinking fund category it comes, I have uh, separate inserts which are now in my uh, in my A six because A six is wonderful in that way that it can take um, it can take pocket size inserts and um, let me see yeah for example like I have a sinking fund for my dentist uh, I know that I go there twice a year and I the average that I pay is around 70 euros sometimes it's less sometimes it's more so I just make sure that I have that amount and I, that I chip in um, monthly it's just nice to, I don't feel it as much if 11 euros come out, comes out of my month, uh, out of, out of my, sorry. I don't feel it as much if I, if I take out 11 euros per month out of my, um, salary, than if I just, you know, pay 70 all at once without planning, uh, for it. So this is, this is it. Um, and so now I know like within the lump sum of my sinking funds account, I know that 116 euros of it is uh, from my dentist category. And when I go to the dentist and I get a bill, um, I pay it and then I, I take a note of the date and how much came out and I basically just keep track of what goes in and what goes out in that way. Then it's not so confusing. And that's basically my budget section, uh, the different the different sections, should I say. And um, it's taken some years to to make my system, but and, and a lot of steps and a lot of growth, um, a lot of trial and error. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I'm, the system works for me. It's not complex, um, uh, at least for me. I find it very simple. It has definitely evolved over the years as my my jobs uh, and lifestyle has changed. Um, if you're interested, I can I can make a video 
about uh, you know that evolution and 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 what I've learned. I think for me, it's always been interesting to take to take a look and listen at other people's journeys. I'm a musician and uh, and a teacher. Um, on in terms of the salary scale, I'm definitely on the lower part of the totem pole and um, and for a long time I had a very irregular salary and that was very difficult to to you know try and get ahead financially with such things so you know and there's not a lot of resources out there I, I at least when I was starting um, I found it hard to get to get some good uh, resources on that kind of uh, situation so if you're interested in in that and hearing my story um, definitely leave a comment down below. If you have found this uh, video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe uh, for more content like this. I find it uh, really nice to, to talk about these things. I'm very much focused on, on financial growth and personal growth and my planners help me in, in these uh, areas of my life. So yeah, um, I hope I hope you liked the video. Sorry for the scatteredness of it. Um and I hope to see you next time. Bye.